What's going on everybody? Dar Sizzle and Puddin coming at you from our home water today right here in Boynton Beach. If you're new to the channel, we are a Florida fishing couple. That's right, Dar Sizzle. On a little pre-Christmas trip, we catch a ton of fish and we're going to show you how to cook the thinnest fish in the sea. Let's get right to the first catch. Checking our first trap. Well, actually second trap because the first one had no bait or nothing in it. Second one, we've got catfish and looks like a keeper stone crab claw in here Ooh, too. And this video is brought to you by Fish Angler app, by the way. Let me get this beautiful crab out. And it's two days before Christmas. Hope you guys have a great Christmas holiday. Yes. Oh, that's a keeper. Fully keeper. Woo! Can you pinch me? <laughs> Yummy claw. Sam is either very crabby or he's giving all the presents to the cribs. We're not catching any cribs. You want it? Four pots so far. You want it? And Come get it. One claw you saw. Oh, I missed. Oh. That was close, though. Not only are you terrible at crabbing, you're terrible at feeding pelicans. I am. All right, Dr. Sizzle. Well, I'm thinking that the iguana, I don't know if you guys saw that other video, we used an iguana as bait. Yes. And we're going to be checking that one last, because it's down at the end. And we're just checking right now bigger traps that are, I mean, traps that are um, in areas where it's deeper. Yes, because, of course, we check the fish angle out before we go fishing for weather and all kinds of great stuff, besides winning fishing trips. and. Uh, so we knew the tide, we came out here a certain tide and the tide's coming up. So we wanted to check our traps with shorter ropes so the buoys don't, <laughs> don't go underwater and we can still find them. And now I think we're gonna try and do a little trolling uh, with all this nice clean water in shore. We're gonna try and see what happens with that. Yeah. Or maybe throw some shrimp around. We're gonna do, we're mixing it up today. You know, it's just a couple days before Christmas and front just came through. You know, just enjoying, just enjoying another day in the water, living our dreams. And I'm freezing. I know you guys are going to complain. I'm going to complain and be a baby about how cold it is, but I'm wearing like four layers on top, two layers on the bottom. And with the north winds, it just makes it really cold for me. I'm warm blooded. All right. Yeah, you know, it was like 80 yesterday and it's 65 now. So it's, it's not like it's cold, it just when it drops like that. Coming Get my in, lunch up in. here, Sizzle. Christmas dinner is coming up. Coming up, coming up. Also, crab, crab trap bait. We do this a lot. Okay. Underneath again. Okay, good. First Christmas fish. Christmas the jack, fish. one of our favorite little work. Beautiful jack cabal. Ladyfish. All right, so we're getting some crab trap bait. The weather's so bad that we got some of our friends, charter guys, right here anchored up in shore, drifting back shrimp on his little ledge. And uh, we're just kind of trolling around them in the same general area. All right, we're going to try another area. This uh, quite a ton of jacks and ladyfish here just the other day. So we're going to mix it up a little bit. We got a fish. Come on, Sizzle. That might be a snook. I saw it jump. Yeah? Yeah. It's coming in. Ooh, looks like a little snook. You're right. Here, buddy. Woo! Nice. Beautiful. Nice. All right, so you can see everything on the troll when they're chewing will eat these lures. All right, cute little juvenile snook there. Probably 14 inches or so. Nice. Beautiful. He was very hungry. There he goes. He actually just turned around and went right under the boat. In the winter, the snook gonna go back into an area where the bottom is muddy and dark because the sun will heat that up so it'll be warmer. So back right. in, we came to an area because it's colder that I thought maybe we'll get a different species, maybe we'll get a snook. And you know, it's the winter time, so you get mostly small males, but it worked out. Yeah. So good. Sure did. We're not done yet. <laughs> not done yet. Woo, jumped. Nice. Let's I was holding it. the rod down in the water as we were passing these docks and these big boats and stuff. Just keep the rod tip close to the water so that way the lip diver would dive deeper and literally hook the fish as I was holding the rod, which is pretty cool. Woo! Nice! Woo he's a little bigger. bigger. Yeah, he's bigger. Sweet. Once again, I believe that's the same lure that the other snook ate. All right, guys, let's let this fish go. I'm gonna post on the fishing. Ah! on the fish angler app exactly where I caught that fish. That was a Brian release. And don't rem remember, stay tuned to find out about the giveaway on fish angler. Yeah, that's right guys. In addition to all the weather and everything we talk about a lot, anglers post their catches. And so if you come to a new area or even an area you always fish in, you can look on there and see where other anglers have caught fish like Darcy and you can see where there's fish spots. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. I share a lot of details on there that I don't share anywhere else. Totally free to download, free to sign up, all that good stuff. And make sure you follow me. Just use the search function and search Dar Sizzle to follow me. Yeah, and use the link in the description below to download the app. Yes. That's Darcy's link so she gets a little bit of credit. Right below. And it'll be right next to how to do the giveaway too. Yep. <laughs> it's getting worse. It's not slowing yeah, down Yeah, it's getting yet. worse. All right, now another, another trap. 
no crabs in it. Nada. We're going to go explore some new areas. We're going to run north a couple miles, do some urban fishing. Gusting over 20 right now. Yeah. Gnarly. Hardcore. Hardcore. Hardcore parkour. Hooked up! Woo! <laughs> Jeez. Monster over here. All right, so we've kind of moved on. We're doing some shrimp fishing. Took a little bit of a ride. Wanted to try and check a different area. And Brian's fishing a DOA. He just hooked a moonfish, and I just hooked a massive ladyfish. Look at that yeah. sucker. That's huge. Poor man's tarpon. Woo wee! Yeah, like I was. Yeah, like I was saying. You know, we want to try some new areas, and we've seen boats over here before. And it's kind of like an off the just off the side of the intercoastal. And my first cast on the DOA terrorize. I got what's hooked up. I got the moonfish. Yeah. And then Darcy just threw out the shrimp on a jig and she throws it out and kind of jigging it back to the boat and just have this this ladyfish. What was that like second cast? Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of a flat and you just letting the wind just drift us across. Hooked up! Oh my god. Alright, try to keep the rod tip low so these fish don't jump right off the hook. Woo! Put it on a show. Woo! All right, another monster coming in. Oh, oh. You played with it too long. Ugh. I was playing with it too long. Let that's what she jump. said. Look, that's where it's shallow. Waves are breaking. All right, cutting the shrimp in half is working on this little jig right here. Hold on. All right, so he's using this little jig, letting it go to the bottom and hooking up like instantly. Half the shrimp is doing the trick. Yeah, that was two seconds from the last ladyfish. Looked up. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> There's Whoa. so much lady oh, fish right here. It's crazy. You should be catching them on that. I'm getting bites. Maybe you can swim it a little faster. Woo! Monster, monster. <laughs> Welcome aboard. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> no! I'm wrapped all over you. Stop. Crap! He jumped right back out of the boat. Now, now those are called poor man's top because they jump around like top and, and spit the hook like you just saw. It was crazy. Uh. Hooked up! Ooh. I don't know what it is, but. Jack. Maybe. Whoa, big moon fish! Oh, big moon. It's a monster! Whoa! That's a market right here. <laughs> we get this deal ways and crush it. These are delicious. All right, put on the trolling motor. Trolling motor. Look at that. Moonfish, guys. Well, this is actually a look down. We call them moonfish here for some reason. Because you like a moon, and they are delicious. Paper thin, but really delicious. Got thin, got thin. <laughs> thinner than, it's even thinner than pudding. <laughs> this is like pudding. Look, here's pudding no, and Darcy. Mean, you mean thinner than me. <laughs> pudding and Darcy. <laughs> he's going in the cooler. He's not going in the well. You see, we're actually fishing. We're trying new spots, and we're, and we're drifting the whole area until we find where the fish are, and then I put down a trolling motor, and we're going to stay here for a little bit. Yep. Brian's catching more fish than me so far, I think, on artificial. I don't know, it's about even. You caught, you caught a lot of ladyfish before. I'm getting bites. Whoa! Nice. No, monster! Lady. Holy crap. <laughs> right in the boat, fast. Yeah. Hooked up! Nice! Oh my gosh! Croaker. Oh, what? baby, it's huge! Woo oh my god! That is Look a at monster! Look at that y'all! Stoked! That's a Stuart croaker right there. That is a Stuart croaker right that there. That is the fake redfish. Also very delicious. We got a Captain Cook coming up, what? baby. That's a stud right there. Pre-Christmas Captain Cook coming oh, away. Right in the boat. Right Beautiful in, right in the fish. Box. Beautiful fish. I don't know if you guys know Dawson very well, but she likes to have a lot of bags. I do. So that just fell right into the tackle bag. I do. All right. So let me show you the fish real quick. Show something about my tackle bag. She, she leaves the house in the morning. She has like eight bags around her sides. It's crazy. Check out that beautiful that fish right there. That's a beautiful just jumped right in front big old croaker on the shrimp. Gonna post exactly where we caught it on the fishing wrap. Fishing wrap. Nice. Hooked up. Oh, it's a lady. Now the technique, guys, is Darcy's favorite technique, and a lot of people use it, is you just cast it out into twitch, twitch, pause. All right? Yep. And you, you want to let that thing drop, almost like a Sorry, worm bass back. fishing, okay? If you think, if you think you're on the, on the bottom, you're probably in the middle. All right, so super slow, get it on the bottom. <laughs> I don't know what Darcy's doing over here. Trying to get him in the boat in one motion. 
Whee! Nice job. Gosh, they're huge. <laughs> no, don't jump off, don't jump off. Nice job. So, you know, be patient with it. And uh, that's usually, you know, our go-to retrieval. They cast it out. Let it, let it sit, man. You ain't, got, you ain't got nowhere to go. You have a nice day out with your girlfriend or your buddies or whatever. Take a little slack. It's on the bottom. Twitch, twitch. Pause. Okay? Depending on what species you know, when you, you know and you're going to do different retrievals. If, you know, ladyfish like it faster, so I was really going a little faster. Okay? Not, all right? And you know, it's a tiny little twitch. All right? Just like that. It's not this. All right? If, you're, if you see, if you see well, anytime, you know, we fish with it. You know, we have fish with the best fishermen in the whole wide world in Florida. And man, when they're fishing, they don't look like they're doing nothing. Just like a gymnastics person or whoever who's really good at some sport doesn't look like they're doing nothing. Just like yeah. this. All right? You see Ryan Harrington, Ed Zayek. They're not yep. doing this, all right? It's just bam, bam. Just like that. Right, Sizzle? Right. Bam, yep. bam. I already caught a bunch of species just sitting here. Yeah. On shrimp. Five, I think. Yeah, right here we've caught ladyfish, croaker, um, jacks, of course, catfish. Snapper. A snapper. Not a moonfish. And, and of course, my moonfish. Yeah. Two moonfish. One was a tiny. I threw it back. But uh, that's it. And you can mix it up. You know, you can do a straight retrieve also. Just, <coughs> you know, whatever. You mix, you mix it up until you catch a fish. Yes. Typically, a, a snook is going to want it slower. Jack's going to want it faster. Ladyfish wants it faster. And if you think you're going to pass out going too slow, that's what you usually do for tarpon. <laughs> <laughs> Like you're worm fishing. Worm fishing. I, that's why I don't worm fish. Bass worm fishing. Yeah. Get it. Hooked up. Ladyfish? Probably. It's not jumping. It is not, actually. Oh my gosh. What is it? It's the world's biggest, uh, it's a pompano. No, no. It's not. no, it's not. No, it's not. It's a sand perch. World's biggest sand perch. What? Oh my oh God. Oh my God. Look at that freaking thing. That is Holy the world. Ow! Oh, just damn me. That is the world's biggest sand perch. Jeez! Look at the mouth on that crazy thing. Wow. No joke. All right, we get line right back out. Nice. These are delicious too. Those are very good. Also good crab trap bait. Wow, pretty cool. Another species. He fought pretty hard. Dudes, show them how to put the shrimp on. I mean, a lot of people. Oh, we've done a hundred times on the video. Yeah. But. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people consider that, you know, all these fish maybe not the best fish in the world to catch, but, no, don't you know, judge. the croakers are don't the big, judgy. you know, croakers are huge and delicious. That was my biggest croaker in Boynton, my biggest sand perch in Boynton, Brian's big moon fish. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, dude, you know, it's nice to go offshore fishing and catch everything, but it's like, you use light tackle, and it's 30 miles, it's whatever. A front was last night, it's, you see how bad it was blowing this morning, even the big boats aren't offshore. Yeah. We're, we're caught, I don't know how many fish you caught today, 20? Yeah, at 30? least. 30? I don't even know. It's not bad. We've seen <laughs> explosions and blow ups and bake it and chased. And yeah. yeah, this is fun. I like tackle. This is fun. I like <laughs> setting the hook on these fish. Yeah. A little jig. All righty, guys. Can you take that? Thank you. So we're checking our final trap. We're done fishing. But the final trap here is the one that had the iguana in it. We marked it on our machine. Pulling it up right now. Let's see what we got. Definitely fish in there. Ooh. Ew. Ew, look at this, guys. He's what? still decaying, and his skin is coming out the side. Oh, that was a bad that idea. That is gross. Does it smell bad, or is it just me? Dude, it stinks to high heaven. Oh, goodness gracious. It's so stinky. This is not a fun job when something is decaying in there. Usually we get to them by the time everything is decayed. It's and been it's like just, 10 days. Just bones left, but that's not a good sign that he's still in here partially. He smells poorly. Warning. Don't look if you don't want to see. His tail is still in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that's official. It did not work. Yeah, there's no crabs. No crabs. All right, so the official word is do not use iguana. No, do not use iguana. It did not work. <laughs> and he's still decaying two weeks later. But we got the give. We got to tell you all the details about the giveaway. Yes. And Darcy's going to clean that very skinny fish. See you awesome back at giveaway. Stay tuned. We'll see you back in the house.
We are back at the house, guys. Time to fillet up this delicious moonfish for lunch. But let me tell you really quick about the awesome fish angler giveaway happening right now. You and a friend can win a full day fishing trip with me on board, aboard the beautiful fish angler boat right out of the Hillsborough Inlet. There will also be three runners up that will win a $100 Bass Pro gift card. Click the link directly down below for your chance to enter. And there's a lot of ways for you guys to have more entries too. Let's dive right into getting this fish done. I've already got one done, and I have a little new trick here that I'm gonna show you on how I like to fillet these moonfish. So like we talked about before, they're very, very thin. So what you wanna do is go in at an angle like this. This is all bones in here, but I like to kind of just make that initial cut. And then you're gonna feel right along this edge where it's hard and soft, and you're gonna cut all the way down here to the nose. That's all that head meat, all right? So don't miss that. You don't wanna make that cut straight here because you're gonna miss all that head meat. And then just take your time, and I'm just using my standard go-to knife, nothing special. And we're just gonna go right along his edge. Take your time, because again, he's very thin. You can easily cut through to the other side. And then get to the tail, pop that out. And then just like any other fish, get right in there. And then just start lifting the fillet. And you're gonna be shocked to see how big this fillet is for such a thin, thin fish. I mean, this is probably the thinnest fish in the world for people to eat, honestly. I can't think of a thinner fish than this guy but very, very good. And it has been a while since I filleted one of these fish. And right up here, of course, there's just rib cage bones. And then, you see what I'm doing here, but I'm kind of just working my way down, nice and slow, try to keep the innards intact there. And down on this area, that's all very thin meat, but still edible meat that you can eat. And then we just go down and slap that off. All right, so we got as much as possible. You can see that area of it down there is pretty thin but there's a decent amount of meat on that filet right there. Now, my new trick is for filleting, skinning these fish because this skin is absolutely paper thin. I mean, this is just paper thin skin. So to do this, what I like to do is go right up here where the head was and take that little bit, little bit of skin and you can start initially ripping it off like that. That's very easy. And then I kind of stop right there and then I'll hold that piece of skin and I'll take the knife and then when you come in here, now this is a trick, you wanna point the angle of the knife up, not down, because you're gonna cut right through the skin. So I have it angled up just a tad, just a little bit. And as you go to skin it, you're gonna lose a little bit of meat. I mean, it is what it is, but you don't wanna eat that little paper thin skin. So keep the knife up, lose a tiny millimeter or two of meat on the skin there, but you should be able to do it in one motion. Okay, so just like that. And you can see we lost a little bit of meat. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but we got the skin completely off. And then what I do here is just, you can see there's a little red bloodline. Most of the blood is on the skin still. And then we'll just cut that right out. Pin bones right in the middle. So basically we're gonna have the top loin and the bottom loin. Take that out. Now we got the bottom half, which is thinner than the top half. And then we got the top half, which is a pretty decent little meal right there. So the other side of that fish is gonna make a delicious meal for one person. But that's kind of how we just did that, nice and simple. So it does take a little bit of a trick there, but you can see that we got this other guy completely done and you can see right through him there. So that was a nice little filet too. So we got one for Puddin, this one, and this one for me, even though he caught both these fish. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish up the other side of this filet and then we're gonna meet you guys in the kitchen for cooking with Puddin portion of this video. Thanks so much, Dr. Zizzle, for excellently filleting the thinnest fish in the whole wide world. I could never do that in a million years. And welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Puddin. It's my birthday week edition. Awesome, my birthday the 28th. I don't want to make a big deal out of it. But uh, let's get right into this uh, beautiful look down, or moonfish, as we call them here in, uh, in Boynton Beach. Now, one thing I want you guys to take away is that a lot of people don't eat this fish. They don't, they don't know they can eat it. This is a delicious fish. And if, you, if you're in the know, you eat it. Just like that croaker and just like that sand perch, those things are delicious. So you can go out when it's 30 miles an hour offshore and catch a whole ton of fish, you and your family and the kids, and you can do it anytime. So really, I hope you guys get that message today and go out there and just get on the water. Uh, so these fish, my birthday week, we got Christmas in two days. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve. And Dar just got that one orders, so we're keeping it pretty simple. Just want to show you what this delicious white fish is going to taste like, okay? I put some salt and pepper on it. 
just salt and pepper on one side. Fish is really too thin to put it on both. It's gonna to be too salty. And throw it in a pan with some butter. Delicious. And of course, this is a great fish to fry this. Uh, just like crappy or any other thin fish, put on a sandwich, but we know pudding is too fat for bread or frying food. Come take a look though, Sizzle. We're ready to flip. It's only been about a minute. Oh, I got to start my timer. I like to time it. Now you can see, as I always say, starting to get a little white in the sides. That means we're ready to flip. Look at this. And guys, some of you guys go out there and catch two million crappies a day. This is more fish than two crappies. I don't care how thin it is. This is more fish. This is like, what is this? Four crappy? <laughs> well, depending how big they are, but it's plenty of fish. All right, back it up, Sizzle. All right, this is gonna be done in 30 seconds, and we're gonna do the taste test with our Sizzle. Let's get right to it. All right, we're back. Taking this fish Ooh. right off right now. I gotta try not to block our that Sizzle. That is a lot of fish. It is a lot of fish. It's a lot. It's not maybe a pound, but it's a decent amount. No, it's... it's, it's for two moonfish? It's way more than two crappies, is what I'm this saying. This is the time of year for fish for them, guys, especially in the southeast part of Florida, so if you ever catch them, keep them. Yeah. That's my whole point. All right, so we'll dive in. See what you think. So hot. Just keep oh. it off the burner. <laughs> I, you know, I have that superpower where I don't... Hot food doesn't hurt my mouth. Yeah. You can wash it down with a cold lager. You have to. He has an iron mouth. Having trouble. She's fooling around. Look at it. See how nice and white that is? Can you guys see that? Yummy. It's delicious. Way too hot. A little hot. We are live action here. Mm. This is, it's delicious and white. It's, it's medium firm. It gets firmer than a yellowtail or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's got a little firmness to it, so it's mm -hmm. really quite good. You know, these fish are eating shrimp, and I think, you saw how white the meat is. I mean, it's really tasty. I just had like a little bit of a crunchier piece, which was actually quite tasty. It was like the end piece there. Any fish but that's eating shrimp or lobster is going to be good. I need to be beer, I, too. Oh, yeah, you go. It's we good. have to celebrate all month, birthday month for pudding. Delicious. Cheers. Delicious. That was awesome. Awesome trip on the water, getting back out there and really excited for the wintertime fishing coming up here. There's a lot of awesome stuff to catch both inshore and offshore. So stay tuned for some awesome videos headed your way. Once again, check out Fish Angler right yeah. down below in that awesome giveaway. Hold on, I want to add a little thing. Yeah. If you guys get any sort of tips that are during this video and you like them, please subscribe. We never ask anyone to subscribe. There you go. We should ask more. Yes, please subscribe. There you go. Thank you for watching. We love each and every one of you. Until our next adventure, follow Five your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Boom. Boom B. <laughs> Boom B B. B B. Party B. Party B's in the house. That was good. That was good. Yum yum. The rest is mine. No.